This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use eDraft for creating any talking head video you want. What's up? I'm Sam from AI for Marketers, and today we're gonna learn how to use eDraft. It's actually super intuitive and really easy to use. The best thing about this AI is that you can make avatar animations based on whatever you want. It's an incredible tool and it has a pretty generous free plan. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is the landing page. We have Hydra, video for everyone. Imagine worlds, characters, and stories with complete creative control. We have the create window, which is the one where, you know, we customize what we want to do. And we also have the stylize window, which is simpler, but you have different modes um, that Hydra gives you. We're gonna explain them both. Either way, on the timeline, there's the timestamps where we explain each window. Okay, let's create an account. Okay, we created the account here. I accept the term of service. Yeah, I'm 18 years old. I'm actually way older than that. Create account. Okay, so now we're on the account. We can upgrade if you want. Like, let's see the, the plans here. We have the free plan, five videos a day, slower generations, two concurrent generations, video length up to 30 seconds, and no commercial use. Okay, that's fair. Then we have the basic plan with 20 minutes of videos and premium voices and no watermarks, which is important. Then the professional $50 a month, 110 minutes of video a month, which is a lot. And then the enterprise for, for companies, right? Um, I would recommend just using the free plan for starting out, but if you need more videos, I, I would just recommend using the, the basic plan for sure. Okay, so let's go first to SLIs, transform your video with AI powered effects. Okay, so here we basically have to upload an image of ourselves first. So I can send and let's pick one. Okay, there's me. Um, that's one from thumbnails. And here, this is like the best part. I really love this part of Hydra. We can pick the style we want our image to be in. So we have Renaissance, right? Like there, sculpture, woman, bobblehead, anime, which is like high quality. Look at that. I want the bobblehead thing. I don't know if that's gonna be like creepy. If it's creepy, we're gonna do something else. Okay, let's apply style. Okay, so there's me in bobblehead. It doesn't look like me at all. Like, first of all, I don't have blue eyes. And second of all, like I don't look like that, right? But at least like the type of expression is similar in some sense. Uh, let's try with another, another like, you know, let's try it with another style. Let's do Renaissance. Okay, so that one is super interesting. That one is actually pretty close to how I look. That looks amazing. I really like that one. Here, you can like, you know, we can play music for a thing to, you know, to sing it. Here is like the default song that they gave, they give us. But in the create window, we can actually edit the song that the character is gonna sing. But here, let's generate video real fast. Okay, so we have our generated video. That's kind of creepy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much it on the um, stylized part. Let's go to the full editor. Okay, so here we are on the create window and here we have a lot of more options. Okay, so first of all, we have the audio part here where we can import an audio, we can generate an audio with AI, even like music, use different voices. For example, Laura, let's play Laura. Our distrust is very expensive. George. God has given you one face and you make yourself another. George Bass. Emily. Never mistake motion for action. Never mistake motion for action. Government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. Shall not perish, she's British. These are actually voices from Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is by far the best voice AI generator. By the way, if you don't know what Eleven Labs is or want to learn how to use Eleven Labs professionally, we made a tutorial on it. I'm gonna leave it on the YouTube cards and in the description. Okay, so we can import our song or make an or recording. So what we're gonna try first is make this picture of me say something. Hey, what's up? I'm Sam from AI for Marketers and this is an avatar. So mm, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, so there we have it. My recording and my picture. Let's let's see how it did. Hey, what's up? I'm Sam from AI for Marketers and this is an avatar. So, mm, <laughs> this is pretty cool. 
the, okay, so that's terrible. I don't want to see it again, but you know, there it is. I just wanted to try the full realistic avatar, but that's not what Hydra specializes in. For that type of animations, you could use something like Hayden, for example. But here, the really interesting thing about um, Hydra is that you can create characters based on yourself or, or based on whatever you want. Okay, so let's first stylize this picture to make an animation avatar that looks like me. I'm gonna make it futuristic, masculine, so I'm a pretty fucking masculine, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're doing futuristic, masculine guy, smiling, bright colors, and white background. Here we can edit the AI strength. So basically, how much do we want the AI to edit the original picture? We're gonna leave it there and let's try that. That's pretty cool, but I don't want the, the like to be like photorealistic. I just want it to be like an, a, an avatar. White background and long hair. Let's add let's add a lot of AI strength to this um, to this one to see how it does it. I think it's gonna change it a lot. Okay, so that changed quite a bit the original image. Let's try to make something closer to what I look like. Okay, so I don't like that one either. Let's add longer hair and let's put manual seed 42, the one we're using. I really like that one. Let's try that one and let's make it say something interesting. Hey, this is a parallel universe version of Sam from AI for Marketers. And here I have longer hair. Okay, so let's generate the video and wait a little bit. Okay, so there we have it, a parallel version of myself. Um, let's hear it. Hey, this is a parallel universe version of Sam from AI for Marketers. Not and here, good, brother. I have longer. Like, you know, it's actually not bad. Like, okay, I like that the thing looks like he's saying that. Okay, but I don't love the facial expressions, but that's the more photorealistic avatar. Let's try with something that, you know, the, the software gives us. For example, we can randomize a prompt. We, you know, just say randomize prompt and it gives us a, a new character. And we can make this character say whatever we want. So let's try make this super cool red hair guy um, say what I said there. Okay, there we have it. Let's, let's see how it did it. Hey, this is a parallel universe version of Sam from AI for Marketers. And here I have longer hair. That's actually way better, right? That that looks amazing, dude. That looks excellent. So let's try with something, something else. Okay, that one, that one's cool. That one's cool. Okay, let's generate that video. Okay, it's ready. Let's go. Let's see how this went. Hey, what's up? This is me from the past talking to you guys in the future. Um, I am here and I have a red hat or something. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> that, that's probably the best one we've done today. That's excellent, right? This That's actually great. This AI is clearly not, you know, the best at everything, but one, it's improving a lot. And two, and most importantly, it has like an a specific use case. So if you need to generate images, I wouldn't recommend using Hydra. And if you wanted to generate audio, I also wouldn't recommend Hydra. But if you need to create talking head avatars, this is one of the best options out there. So yes, I hope this video was useful to you. And if it was, you can repay the favor just subscribing to our channel. Take care.